So a customer would go into their local branch, obviously. Uh, the branch staff would uh, fill an application via ETA with the application for non-standard service. They would fill that out with all the uh, criteria listed in the process document. They'd submit it and it would go to the CSC. At the CSC, they would fill out a CD enrollment and maintenance form which has been given to us by Simcor and is sent to BMO. BMO then sends it off to Simcor. I had nothing really to work with so that's the Simcor building in Vancouver where Simcor will assign user IDs and passwords and we will then send a manual and letter, two letters to each cousin, customer with their user IDs and passwords. CDs should not be used as frisbees. Once customers receive their user guide, uh, the instructions tell them to install the on-demand view viewer. It'll become a menu item from the start menu and it'll launch like any other application. Customers will be prompted for their user IDs and password and they will be mailed separately to the customer. Uh, they'll select what language they want to view their session. From here they get the on-demand viewer, the check image viewer. Now there's search criteria on the top left portion of your screen which I'll get to in a sec. It's a Windows based application so just like any other Windows app uh, the menu items are quite the same. Back to the search criteria you have the ability to search check images by processing date, check serial number, amount, uh, by account, or by branch. Check image CDs should not be used as jewelry. So back to the interface for the on-demand viewer. I'm performing a search right now for specific dates. I go and hit the search button, and if it's more than 300 items, it'll tell me. You can only do, uh, it'll only present the first 300 items in that search. So in the bottom portion of the screen after the search is completed, it's called a document list. Here there's only one item highlighted. Um, if I perform a view all selected, which is only one item, the check image will pop up on your screen, just the one item. If you go back to that document list and highlight all of the documents, or ten documents, five documents, and you go back to that view all selected, all the check images will load for you and this, it'll show you all the fronts. If you want to see the backs, you have to go to each individual one and select a, a, a button from one of the toolbars. Check image CDs should not be used as coasters. So I'm going to briefly list some of the functionality or features of the on-demand viewer. Scrolling across your screen are some of the buttons you can use to view check images. Here you can, based on your search, uh, you can scroll through the many items. These two buttons allow you to do that. You can zoom in uh, as a percentage. So if you want to zoom it up to a thousand percent to see a check image, I don't know why. You can also view cascade options where the checks are on top of each other. You can view a tile horizontally. And you can also view tile vertically based on those search criteria. For TCP, when the image the checks get imaged at SimCore, and some of them become quite uh, dark or or faint, and you have the option of selecting brightness. You also have the op option to sort, and you can sort based on the search criteria, meaning your date, your amount, your ISN, your serial number, and so forth. And those are your functionality or features. Check image CDs should not be used for an electronic drum set symbol. Overall, a great story. 
really makes me pumped, quite frankly. Well, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. That's, that's about as cool as it gets. I have been nothing but impressed by the way that people have stepped up to the plate and actually taken some of these projects head on. Congratulations, Canada, on reaching this important milestone.